Yeah, I mean, I think we're all missing our loved ones, family, friends that we were disconnected from for obvious reasons. And I think music is something that connects us and bridges us to the, you know, the people and the memories that we hold dear. So, yeah, for me, I was listening to a lot of Irish music and the idea came about to record some of my favourite Irish songs. Um, and it's an album for people that have all missed Ireland and missed home generally over the last eight, year and a half. So we all have our, our own stories, you know, about how how COVID, how the pandemic impacted us. For you, in a couple of major big ways. First of all, you missed your dad's 80th birthday. Yeah, yeah. Now, that was really tough. Um, we had plans as a family um, to celebrate in Ireland, but that didn't happen. Also, we had a gorgeous baby girl born four days into the very first lockdown back in March 2020. So, yeah, that's, you know, it's, it was quite the... Yeah, the ups and downs over the last year, but we're, you know, we're doing okay. We're all right. You know, we got through it. Uh, we stuck together as a family. I enjoyed the time at home, to be honest, with Coco, our little one that was born. Uh, the quality time, uh, being there for every, every nappy change, every bedtime, it was very special. Well, look, all this talk of, of home, you being Ronan Keating, you are incredibly busy. We thought maybe you'll be missing home, so we've got a bit of a surprise for you. Have a look at this. Hey, Rob. It's me here, Lil. I just wanted to say how proud I am and how proud we all are of this gorgeous new album, Songs From Home, that you've brought out. The last 20 months have been so difficult for so many families around the world who can't get together. Um, but I know when they listen to your album, they're going to feel like home. And, you know, the one thing we miss is just having each other near each other and just being able to get together. And please, God, we'll be able to do that soon and have a good old Keating catch up. Oh, that is, of course, your sister, Linda, missing you so much. Oh, I miss me, sis. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> I can't believe you've done that to me. Oh, God. oh yeah. Well, I'm that's trying lovely. to make you feel a bit better if you're missing your family. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. Thank you. But sometimes you just kind of focus on getting through things. And when you hear people talking and saying things like that, it makes it harder. I think... You kind of put blinkers on, don't you? We all have. We put blinkers on and try to just get through it um, and, and not get too sentimental and not get not soften. But the truth is, it's been really, really difficult and I'm missing my family a lot and, and Storm missing her family in Australia. It's really, really, really hard. Uh, she hasn't seen her family in two years now. Um, so, look, let's hope we can all be together soon. And you got the tour coming up in January, which is actually going to be a combination of this new album and your other album, which you couldn't go on tour because, of course, yeah. of the pandemic. You must be so excited about it. What, what did you miss? I, um, the performance side of things, performance songs, music, singing. Um, you know, that's really, that's what I, from 16 years of age, that's what I was doing first. Before I was writing songs, I was just performing, singing. So for me to get back on stage and doing that is the most important thing to me. I love it more than anything else in, in what I do. So to get back on stage again and perform for everyone that wants to see me perform, that is. <laughs> well, Ronan, good luck with the album, with the tour, and please, please try and fit in going back home to seeing the fam. Really good talking to you, sir. I will. It's lovely to talk to you guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.